Welcome out to the Farming Smarter site. Today we're getting our strip tillage machine uh, ready for action. So we're going to use this hopefully just once this year and get everything done in one shot. But the, the whole idea is that we're looking at strip tillage. So what that means is that we're going to till some narrow rows for the seed bed. And uh, this machine here is, uh, is getting ready to do that for us. So, so compared to uh, no-till seeding, uh, we're seeding dried land grain corn and we're going to do a high heat unit corn and a low heat unit corn and we're going to try and seed one of them right away here nice and early. We're going to do one at kind of more typical timing at the beginning of May and then we're going to do one a little bit later just in, you know simulating in case something happens and you have to go in and seed your corn a little bit later than ideal. And so the whole idea behind this strip tillage is that uh, the seed bed is going to be nice and loose. Uh, we're going to work up the soil so obviously none of this has been cultivated yet. Here's where we're practicing over here and you can see there's going to be nice four nice uh, dark lines and when you darken the soil you get obviously it's a beautiful bright sunny day today and uh, hopefully that'll help warm this soil up a little bit faster. Uh, we haven't had really warm spring temperatures yet this year until about yesterday and starting today it's going to start picking up quite a bit so Hopefully all that, uh, that nice warm uh, sun will be able to warm this uh, seed bed up a little bit quicker. So this is our strip till machine. Right now we're just working on getting the level a little better. We had it hooked up to a different tractor last year. So we've got a little heavier duty um, hydraulic system on the back here. It sits up a little higher. We were having issues getting it up out of the ground. And, and it's kind of a tricky balance to be able to get it up out of the ground enough but also get it in nice and deep. So the guys who are doing this kind of down south in the States, they, they typically are doing this in the fall and they might be putting fertilizer down at the same time. And they're going down pretty deep, like, like eight, nine inches down into the soil. Right now, it seems like the best we can do is maybe four or five inches. So we're playing around with the settings, trying to get as deep as we can. So this first big wheel on the front here, this disc is for, uh, for cutting up straw. And uh, we've got it set to come in and it's gonna just kind of help loosen the soil, mostly cut up any big residue that you have in the way. These are residue movers. So we're gonna have those just touching the, barely the top of the soil and kind of pushing all the straw and other stuff out of the way. Next up is our hoe and that's kind of our workhorse. That's what's gonna be getting down to that uh, five, six inches hopefully and uh, really loosening up and moving a lot of that soil out of the way. And then we've got these two double discs here. So we're just working on adjusting those. And what those are gonna do is that's gonna make the, uh, the outside of our trench and kind of define where our, our tillage area is uh, within there. And then on the back end, we've got this uh, rotating wheel and that's just set to level everything out at the end. So what that's gonna do is just kind of beat everything down and make a really nice, uh, soft, fluffy trench. And hopefully at the end we'll have four nice big distinct uh, rows with uh, a totally undisturbed spot in between. This is looking at the advantages of tillage uh, while at the same time minimizing all the disadvantages of tillage. And, that, and that's the whole idea is if you can, if you can take the, the area where you're going to uh, plant the seed and, and till that and get all the advantages while still keeping all the the advantages of no-till in between all those areas so you'll have all your residue and stuff still still there so. 